by uh, Chris Sabin. What's he going for here? Power bomb, perhaps? Oh! oh running Liger bomb from one corner to the other. But Paisan is there to break the pin as he tries to. Oh, nope, yeah. oh, block. Beautiful blocking. Block. block of his own. Paisan spinning him around, reverse DDT, perhaps? No, wait. Going for the. Oh! His own way of the attack out driver, I guess. Exactly, yeah. Still not effective though, as Generico able to break up the pin. Now let's see, Generico has got to bust out some of his more uh, heavier duty offense. Here he goes, appears to be going for his half and half suplex. Don Paisan really got to watch out for that top rope. Oh! Brain buster. That's correct. Breaking the, uh, the full Nelson, sorry. Hitting the ropes, goes to the line. Wait. Half Nelson suplex, beautifully executed on the top of his head. That's gotta be it, folks. One, two, and no. Oh. Very resilient. Don Paisan is there, kicking out. Oh, beautiful drop kick to the face. And let's see if Saban here is gonna take advantage. Paisan still weary. He's got on the top crossing of his the legs, crossing the legs as well, knocking out Generico on top of it. Oh wait, reverses into a sunset flip. Not enough though. Big boot to the stomach. He's going for it again. Oh wait, he's going, going for, for a walk, walk drop. drop. It didn't work. Going for rail saving again. He's got him. Oh, oh. Jericho goes over the top. What's he gonna do here? Rail saving. Oh, beautifully executed. And that, that, that is falls. it. Chris Sabin making a great debut right here in Montreal, winning this three-way against El Generico and Don Paisan with El Sabin. That's right, very impressive performance by uh, the former X Division champion here, and uh, coming out victorious over his, uh, his two opponents. The fans showing their appreciation in what was definitely a high-flying uh, three-way dance. gentlemen it's main event time as Frank Kita Mobster is coming out and will step into the ring with former Ring of Honor world champion Samoa Joe that's correct this is the match everyone has been waiting for because you see everyone no one really knows how Frankie the Mobster is going to adjust to the more of the uh, hard-hitting shoot style that Samoa Joe brings to the table Frankie the Mobster likes to use his power offense likes to use uh, that more of that style of offense against his opponents. Let's see what he's going to be able to do against the 270-pound uh, wild Samoan, Samoa Joe. Oh, and fitting right there in Sean Anson's face. No respect at all from Frankie the Mobster. Well, that's basically his usual self. But. Yeah, well, I don't think he respects anyone, Frankie does. And uh, definitely uh, letting Sean Hansen know what's up. And that uh, he should probably stay out of his way if he doesn't want to, if he doesn't want to get uh, beaten up. And here he comes. He's now loved now in his third appearance here in Montreal at uh, his second appearance at Midsummer's Madness and his third overall at the Madness uh, shows. He emerged uh, victorious, I'm not mistaken, uh, last show in a... Uh, actually, no, he didn't win. It. He, he lost. Uh, Kevin Steen ended up winning that match as he, uh, Joe was trying to get his return match against Austin Aries for the ROH title. And here it is, Samoa Joe. Strong style, all in one body. That's right. The uh, Samoa Joe, uh, head trainer at the Inoki uh, Dojo of the New Japan Pro Wrestling out in Los Angeles. Also uh, well known uh, uh, in Japan, wrestling for the Zero One promotion. Has also done uh, many mixed martial arts, shoot fighting, kickboxing, all sorts of things. Uh, definitely uh, a tough competitor in there. One of 
the top heavyweights here in Quebec. Frankie the Mobster will step up against one of the top heavyweights in the world, Samoa Joe. That's right. And don't let uh, the heavyweight moniker fool you on Samoa Joe. This guy, uh, he can fly if he wants to. He can dive to the floor. He can uh, much more deceptively athletic than, uh, you, than he appears to be. And here we go, folks. The bell has rung. Wait a second. What's that? Is, he, is that Kevin Steen's music? Didn't he? Wait. Didn't he leave? We, we saw him leave by the front door. How did he come back? Well, he's got his gear on, so it looks like uh, he wants to interject himself in this match. Well, and Frankie did the same thing to him last year. That's true. What would a man show be like without uh, someone coming in and just screwing up the other guy's match? Now, Kevin's got the mic, and uh, looks like he's got something to say. folks Frankie the Mobster did come in and interfere and there was no victor uh, between Samoa Joe and uh, Kevin Steen last year Kevin Steen saying that Frankie the Mobster is excused and can leave now and I don't think Frankie the Mobster wants to leave right now now Frankie uh, I think in his mind and in the mind of the fans there's something to prove here and uh, he wants to take on Samoa Joe but uh, now they've decided that they're both going to team up and uh, beat up on the uh, on the Samoan. So what is this going to be? Another random three-way now, or? Oh, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? Cole Cabana interjecting himself here now. Oh, bionic elbows. elbows for everyone. Here's some jabs, and the bell is just wrong. What's going on? Oh. Do we have now a four-way? A what's going on? Classic Cole Cabana already wrestled once tonight. I have no idea. Hansen's going to have to shed some light on the situation and maybe uh, lay down the law. Either maybe kick out uh, Kevin Steen and Cabana or make some kind of impromptu tag match. And there's a head in the ring. Yeah, those, those, those Canadian fans, uh, there's something, I'll tell you that much. Now Cole Cabana back in. And randomly, referee Sean Anson books a match right now. He, he, he oh, oh, I guess he's using his uh, referee's discretion and authority and saying, well, you know what? You, all you guys want to wrestle? Fine, wrestle. Pokemon in his second match of the evening, though, so uh, let's see if the fatigue will set in on, on his part. Wow, is that a first time or what? A referee deciding, like, here's your new main event, people. But I guess, like well, we I said, he so. has the power to do so. I since guess Mark the Grizzly gave him carte blanche, and uh, oh, Frankie now telling uh, Kevin uh, he's going to start, and uh, that way he can uh, keep yelling at the fans or spit on them, like oh, he yeah, usually do. On them. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe playing around that he has a big partner, but so does Kevin Steen. That's right. I will That's have to say, though, Colt's uh, partner does outweigh, and I'm pretty sure Colt probably outweighs Cabana as well, uh, Mobster. As we must remember, Colt Cabana has huge pecs, as we can see right there. Frankie very upset. He wanted his one-on-one, -on -one, or maybe a two-on-one, -on -one, I guess, but uh, definitely didn't want to have a tag match. Oh, and Cole Cabana talking smack to Kevin Steen. Oh, 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 snap there. The Cabana trying to get the fans to sing along with his Snoop Dogg, and uh, no one seems to want to uh, partake. Well, there's some 90s. There's yeah, some really 90s. Uh, there it is. Uh, Uh -oh. 
So earlier on we had some Bon Jovi, now we have some random rap. Cole Cabana, the human karaoke, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, folks, and uh, he's definitely enjoying the uh, Montreal fans here and their appreciation of uh, debatably good music. Yeah, Kevin Steen trying to wrestle now with the arm wrench. <laughs> Frankie the Monster asking, where's the tag rope? Good job. Oh, beautiful reversal there by Cabana, showing again his wrestling technique. Now the snap there. Oh! Pull through on the arm wrench, working over the arm of Kevin Steen. Twisting Kevin Steen on one way and twisting the arm in the other way. Keeps Leg drop now on the arm, and now rolling it over. Pressure on the elbow, on the wrist there. Very painful hold. And now with a knuckle lock on the other hand, and it's got Kevin Steen pinned. There's the pin still. Oh. Kevin Steen able to raise one shoulder. And now Cabana bringing him up. Oh, pushes the arm away. Scissors the other one, and again working over that left arm of Kevin Steen. Perhaps he had uh, examined a weakness on Kevin Steen, and uh, going to work on it here. Stretching the stretching arm. There. They're pushing with his legs, trying to dislocate the shoulder, perhaps. And Kevin Steen finally got the ropes. Yes, definitely in a lot of pain, though. He may want to tag out. Samoa <laughs> Joe looks, uh, well, he doesn't look that impressed, I guess, but... And once again, Colt playing with the fans. Colt likes to, uh, well, again, trying to get the fans to embark in a game of sing-along here. And I'm not sure where that Rick Moranis uh, chant was addressed to, but... And there, oh, schoolboy by Kevin. Oh, reversed by Colt Cabana. And Cole Cabana walking on all four like our old doggy. Just getting out of whatever Kevin Steen tries to put on him. Again, little takedown there. And again, again. Rolls through and again walks through his legs there. Kevin Steen definitely getting frustrated here at Cole Cabana. And Cole Cabana knows he's getting into Kevin Steen's head with those mind games. I guess Cole Cabana let the dogs out tonight. I guess so. He's definitely getting power from the uh, from uh, the who let the dogs out chance from the fans here. And Kevin Steen trying to be serious right now as Cole just keeps fooling around with the crowd and playing with Kevin Steen's head as he just makes fun of him and makes fun of pretty much the prof professional sport of wrestling. Oh, again there, crosses the legs, leg takedown, rolls up Kevin, and, and Kevin trying to roll through and Cabana, stayed on him. knowing how to do it, he also knows how to counter it as well, showing a lot of the training that uh, he, made, he was able to uh, obtain while he was uh, wrestling over in England for a couple of months there. And Kevin Steen really getting pissed off right now at the fans. Looks like Cole Cabana's tactics are actually working as he's Kevin Steen doesn't seem to be on his A game right now as he's distracted by the fans, by Colt and... Now Steen is definitely distracted here. He's not used to the unorthodox uh, wrestling style that Cole Cabana brings to the table. And uh, Kevin's used to usually being able to wrestle his own match and, uh, and he has to wrestle someone else's. Cole running the opposing ropes than yeah, Kevin Steen is. Crisscross and uh, neither man appears to be letting up here. Oh, oh, very smart by Cabana. Again, getting into Kevin Steen's mind and just slapping him across the face. Now, Kevin Steen has quite a short temper, so let's see. Uh, I'm surprised that uh, he's taking this so quietly. I don't know if 
that's directed to Kevin Steen, but he's pretty much asking them to hit them with their best shot. That's what he appears to be. Frankie the Monster Samoa Joe still yet to get in the ring. Kevin Steen uh, still hasn't been able to, to manage to work his way around. And another oh, yeah. crisscross coming up here. Here we go again. Cole Cabana keep on playing with the games. Oh! oh. Again, Kevin trying to play in Cole Cabana's, uh, using Cole Cabana's tricks, and he gets burned. Oh. However, a big form to the back of the head usually works. Big chop by Steen there. Oh, big stomp to the back of the head there. Kevin Let's Steen see. with the offense. Let's see if he can get Frankie the Mobster. Here he goes, bring him over to his corner. Now let's see what uh, Frankie's going to be able to do here with uh, classic Colt Cabana. Whip across, reversed by Colt. Big hip toss there on Frankie. Dropped O hold again, and reverses over, floats over, and now into an arm wrench. Uh oh, and, uh -oh. Here here's the big man. Show. And Frankie wants no part of the big man. Well, I don't blame him. Who wants a part of Samoa Joe? I certainly would have. As we can see the fans showing their appreciation for the Samoan one. That's right, Samoa Joe, the longest reigning uh, Ring of Honor champion, almost for two solid years held that title. And now a uh, big headlock by Frankie the Mobster. Little no effect on uh, the giant Samoan. Uh, obviously, Frankie not doing his homework, not knowing that you know it's not a good idea to like attack Samoan's heads and whatnot. But he's trying the big tackle, but doesn't work. The 270 pounds of Samoa Joe aren't moving. Well, now Frankie's asking just Samoa Joe to hit the ropes. Oh, and a knee to the back there by Steen, and a big tackle there by Frankie, finally getting the big man off his feet. There you go, a little pose for a crowd. Big form to the back of the head there. And now let's see if uh, these two are going to be able to success, six, successfully double team the, the, the massive Samoan fighting machine here. And Kevin Steen distracting Cole Cabana so that Sean Anson could be distracted. Ooh, big chop there. I even hurt Kevin's hand as you can see. Oh! Oh! Ooh. I'm not sure that was such a good idea. It probably hurts Kevin knee more than anything. He's already got one bad knee, doesn't want to hurt the other. Exactly. Now picking up, picking up Samoa Joe, whips him across. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, spinning heel kick. Samoa Joe kicking out at two once again. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep the big man down. As we've seen him battle often and recently in two, Iron, well, not Iron Man matches, but went at a 60 minute time limit draw with CM Punk. That is correct. So, very, very impressive, especially for a man of his size to go that long in a match and still not get pinned is very, very impressive. However, right now, I'm, I am a little uh, surprised here that they weren't able to get any offense on Cole Cabana. Oh, and oh. Joe with his big STO out of the corner. And uh, I was quite surprised that Joe wasn't able to get more offense in on them. And now here comes Cabana. Frankie backing away there. Wasn't even tagged in. And Cole Cabana asking him if he's scared. And now we appear to have a shouting contest. Perhaps Degenerate should get involved in that. And Frankie just, he just jumped out of the ring pretty much. Oh, it's Samoa Joe with a kick to the head there. Frankie again, why not having nothing to do with Samoa Joe? I guess since he's not in a one-on-one, -on -one, he figures he can just avoid wrestling him. Oh, big roll up there on Kevin. One, two, kick out there by Steen. Cabana back up on the offense there with a cravat, I believe. Snapmares him over. He's going for a leg scissors? No. Oh! And what a pin. Oh, very interesting pinning combination there by Cole Cabana. Oh, boot to the stomach. He's circling him around, back into the cravat, into a snapmare, into a crucifix roll-up. And Cabana is just giving Kevin Steen a wrestling lesson here. Whips, reverse, ducks, sunset, sunset flip. flip. Kick out by Steen. 
When Kevin Steen says he's had enough, he wants to take a breather. And Colt closing his fist and oh, oh. goes for the big right hand. Well, that just knocked out Steen. And here comes Samoa Joe. In his usual strong style self, just kicking into Kevin Steen like he was some cheap punching bag. Yeah, and if he thought Cole Cabana's strikes were uh, were stiff, uh, oh. he might not know what he's getting. Well, I'm pretty, actually, no, he does know what he's getting into with Samoa Joe. He got his, uh, he took quite a beating at the hands of Joe last year at Midsummer's Madness. Uh-oh, oh, and here, here comes, comes a big boost scrape. Oh. oh. Does Kevin Steen still have a nose? I'm not sure. Tagging back Cole Cabana instead of going for the pin. That's pretty weird from Samoa Joe. Yeah, I guess they figured that, that they got the advantage in this match and uh, they're going to keep on it. I guess they want to teach them a lesson for double teaming Samoa Joe at the beginning of the match. Of course. Uh, for, however, though, Joe does know how tough Kevin is. That he, Kevin did take Joe to the limit last year and Joe did not actually pin him clean. So, Or pin him at all for that matter. Oh, wait. Is Cabana going to go for his own uh, boot scrape here? Oh, there he goes. Face A couple of face washes here. This usually sets up for a boot scrape or an Otani kick. Oh, but again, he was in the wrong part of town and gets clubbed in the back of the head. Frankie the Mobster, with the assistance of Chase Harrenside, interfered last year during the main event between Kevin Steen and Samoa Joe, which turned out into a tag team match. You can buy that DVD thanks to Creation Blacklights on creationblacklights.com. Also, all the other Madness DVDs are available on that site. Oh, here we go. Wait, is he going for... What is he I going... Just... Oh! oh! But he just kicked Kevin Steen's face right off while he was hanging upside down. And that must be it. And no... Kevin Steen still manages to kick out. Frank the Mobster has been in this match very little so far. And uh, Samojo taking Steen into the corner. And Frankie's screaming, he wants to wrestle too and wants to get in there. I don't know if he wants to get in there with Samoa Joe yeah, though. Probably not. As he keeps trying to run away from him. Kevin trying to fight, and there you go. Oh, there we go. Brings him over to the corner. Nice strategy by Kevin Steen, pushing back Cole Cabana in his corner so that Frankie the Monster could take over. Cabana fighting back, though, with some hard chops and big punches. Oh, here big comes the big one. Up here. Ducks the line. Oh, suplex. Beautifully executed by Frankie the Monster. Good show of strength there. Tossing. Tossing the uh, rather large Cole Cabana over his shoulder like he was nothing. And big punch to the head there. Some payback from the part of Frankie the Mobster. Choking Cole Cabana on the top rope right now and right in front of Sean Hansen's face. And now distracting the referee as Kevin Steen, like usual, just keeps on choking Cole Cabana in their corner since they've been doing since the beginning of the match. Here we go. Ducks the line. Cabana. Whoa. Big knee to the Big gut. Big knee to the gut there. Frankie's better get him out of that corner there because he definitely does not want Samoa Joe to get tagged in. And oh. Big rear chin lock there by Frankie the Mobster, slowing down the tempo, trying to wear down Cole Cabana. Probably a good idea seeing how this is Cole's second match and uh, probably feeling a bit more fatigued, especially at this uh, getting into the later stages of the matchup. Cole Cabana earlier on coming out winner of a arm wrestling contest against Dee Fullington. That, that is followed. correct. He didn't beat him in the wrestling match, but he won in the arm wrestling. Now the crowd behind Cole Cabana as he's trying to come back to his feet. But as oh, you can see, working his way up here. Just like a pit bull, Frankie the Mobster trying to hold on. Oh, and a big clothesline there. Like Kevin Steen coming in, takes out Samoa Joe. Good idea. Aggravating the big man. He definitely wants to get in there. Big back suplex. Oh, wait, what's this? 
Summer saw a leg drop. Cabana was getting up, the only guard in the shoulder. And kick out there by Cole Cabana. And here's a camel clutch right there. Again, grabbing the chin. To, uh, wrenching back on the chin, trying to wear down Cole Cabana. Samoa Joe's got enough of that, though. He's coming in and he's going to break the hold himself. Now Kevin Thin going back to work on Cole Cabana's back. Oh, big shot to the guts. Team fighting back, though. And now Steen and blocks him this time. He learned his lesson after those three other times where he managed to walk through his legs. And Steen brings him back. Oh, wait. Caban trying to break him with his legs. Steen maintains the grip, though, and still manages to bring him back to his corner. And as you can see, a nice strategy. Kevin Steen keep holding on. Cole Cabana waiting for Frankie the Mobster to start hitting on Cole to be sure that he stays down. And oh! What a flying head scissors. You wouldn't expect that from this a man of the size of Cole Cabana. Very deceptive agility shown there. Now Steen again trying to drag him back to his corner. There Cabana was no tag, so technically... Oh! Beautiful reversal and tag made to Samoa Joe. And here he comes, chop to Steen. Chop to Mobster. Chop to Steen. Another chop to Mobster. Rips him across. Belly to belly suplex. Oh! Power slam, two, not enough though. Oh, oh. Back down. he just crushed Frankie right there. That's 270 pounds straight onto his chest. And now poor Cold getting tagged back in. Tagged back in, I don't know if that was such a good idea by Joe. Uh, Cold wasn't exactly the fresh man, but... Double gonna teaming. Go some double team work here on Frankie, double boot. You think it's like your ropes. Oh! Beautifully executed. You see the grace on that moonsault. Again, showing <laughs> off the athleticism. Who would have thought a man his size could do stuff like that? Not me, I can tell you that much. Boot to the stomach. Oh! oh. That big boot to the face right there. And now Steen tagged back in. Frankie appears to be favoring his knee. Now Steen, what's he going for? Is he going to try maybe a package pile driver here? Well, oh, looks no. Big chop oh. by Cabana. Another one. Now Steen going back to a headlock. Draw flat. Goes to leapfrog, catches him in a Death Valley driver position. Into a gut buster. This usually sets up for his picture perfect moonsault. And I think he's going for it. Oh, no, wait. Nope. What's he doing? Four 450. Oh. Flash. Not enough, though. Samoa Joe in there to break up the cover. Kevin Steen always impressing, coming out with new stuff that you wouldn't expect him to do. Like it wasn't enough that a guy like him could hit such a beautiful moonsault. Now he lands a 450. That's right. Kevin Steen is showing off his uh, deceptive athleticism there with a uh, gorgeous 450 splash. I guess saying that he can do pretty much all the high-flying moves he wants to. Now punch to the face there. Oh, another shot to the stomach. Cold fighting back from his knees. Oh, another shot to the gut. Double axe handle, another shot to the gut. Oh, shot to the face. Elbow to the head. Big hard Cold shots once again. And oh, have you seen Joe tag himself? You saw Joe tag himself, that's right. I don't think Kevin Steen noticed, though. He's going to the top. I'm not sure what he's going for here. Oh, and Joe with a beautiful drop kick. And I uh -oh. mean, like, 275 pounds jumping up and kicking the top rope is pretty damn impressive, if you ask me. And wait, is this the muscle buster? I think he's going for it. Oh! Muscle buster. And look at this. Cold holding Frankie so that he and can't that's it, break folks. the pin. Well, that's it, folks, in this impromptu main event. Samoa Joe, Cole Cabana emerge victorious over Kevin Steen and Frankie the Mobster.
one would wonder what would have happened had Frankie actually fought Joe one on one as they had very little interaction in this match. I guess that'll be for another occasion. Well, once again, Cole Cabana and Samoa Joe proving why there are top talent in North America and around the world. Most definitely. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was Midsummer Madness 2005. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you want more information on all the Midsummer or just the Madness shows, go on creationblacklight.com for more information. I hope you guys enjoyed the show, and like I said, if you did and you haven't seen the other Madness shows, definitely pick up New Year's Madness and Midsummer's Madness 2004 as well as Midsum uh, New Year's Madness 2005. Okay, you're from NWA Illinois.